Hey guys, welcome back to Cyber Platter. Today we'll try to understand cloud service models and share responsibility model between the cloud customer and the cloud provider. Now let's talk about the cloud service models. This is based on the services offered by the cloud service provider. There are three types of service models. First one is infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service to understand this let's see how if we want to set up a server how it will be in cloud first let's say there is a server okay this has the uh, memory motherboard cpu right and then for the connectivity to connect everything we need the uh, router switches internet this is the connectivity part and then we have storage which is hdd ssd right and then this is the hardware part. And then we have something called as virtualization software. This is to run like multiple VMs on the same server so that we don't waste space, memory, CPU, right? And then we have the operating system that is Windows, Linux, and then we have the middleware. And then there is runtime. Runtime can be if it is web application, it can be IIS. If it is container, it can be Docker. And then we have the application itself. And then there is our data. So it looks like a lot of layers, right? But this can be grouped into three major sections. The hardware and the virtualization software part is called the infrastructure. And then we have a runtime middleware and OS. This is the software which is required to run the application. It is not the application itself. OK, this is the platform part. And then we have the application and the data, which is our software. Suppose say if somebody is taking care of the entire thing from the hardware. So infrastructure is hardware and the virtualization software, right? Including this and then we have the OS runtime middleware and data application. If ev everything you're taking care of, then it is the on-prem structure that you are taking care of everything. You are not taking help from cloud service provider. If the hardware and the virtualization software is provided by the cloud cons cloud provider, OK, and then the consumer is installing the OS middleware application and the data, then it is called as infrastructure as a service. This is the basic model that is provided by any cloud service provider. OK, and it is least expensive also. Mainly the use cases for um, infrastructure as a service is for BCDR. It can be used as a warm site where the physical space is provided by the provider and the connectivity as well and virtualization software and everything that is required to install the application that is OS, runtime, middleware and application. Everything is done by the consumer. It is it can be also used mainly for, you know, storage archiving backups infrastructure as a service is a service where the consumer has the most control over the security of their data okay so when i say least expensive right it is least expensive in terms of what you are paying to the provider but consumer will have to take into consideration that you know we might need extra staffing it staffing to make this entire thing work because os responsibility middleware runtime application data everything falls to falls to the app, uh, consumer so the physical part of the infrastructure server network storage is completely the responsibility of the cloud service provider. But with virtualization software, what happens because the OS is installed by the consumer and as well as configured by the consumer, this affects the underlying systems security majorly. OK, that's why what happens the infrastructure security is shared between the cloud service provider provider and the cloud consumer in infrastructure as a service model. This part here, whatever the security is, is shared. Okay. Now that we know how infrastructure as a service works, what are the responsibilities of whom? So physical security is completely of cloud service provider, but 
the virtualization over the infrastructure part infrastructure security depends on both consumer and the provider now we will talk about platform as a service model in platform as a service vendor takes care of the os part as well so the vendor the cloud service provider is responsible for patching administrating and updating the os as necessary and keeping security in mind okay and the consumer can install any software that is useful for them and run their application the common use case for this is software development it is very much used in software development as the consumer can test their software in an isolated environment without risking to damage the production okay and also they can test their software across a range of os platforms since not worrying about the os they can only concentrate on developing the application so the entire infrastructure part right it is the responsibility of the cloud service provider cloud service provider takes care of the infrastructure security completely in platform as a service but when it comes to the platform right some of the configurations are still done by the consumer so what happens that becomes the shared responsibility of consumer and the provider now let's see what is software as a service model okay in this for example you know google docs office o365 of microsoft your gmail account everything is a saas solution in this the entire platform and infrastructure part is the responsibility of the cloud service provider here the cloud vendor is responsible for administrating patching and updating the software that is the application part as well what is the cloud consumer responsible for here is to upload and process the data okay but there are some configurations applications or configurations that are maintained by the consumer so this part becomes the shared responsibility of the cloud provider and the cloud consumer okay so what do we understand from here is that the physical part server network storage this is a physical part this is always a responsibility of the cloud service provider the data is ultimately the responsibility of the cloud consumer so if we see the shared responsibility model right all the lo part is the cloud consumer responsibility suppose say in infrastructure as a service okay all this grc data application security platform security is all the responsibility of cloud consumer the infrastructure part in infrastructure as a service that is your clue is the shared responsibility of both cloud consumer and the cloud provider these ambiguous that is the shared areas right that is where the risk is the highest because both the parties are responsible for it and both the parties should establish a strong separation of duties and responsibilities in order to protect themselves because both of them have different uh, goals like cloud consumer they wants to they want to maximize their computing capabilities and security while minimizing their costs but the vendor what do they want they want to maximize their profits by providing minimizing what they provide okay this is both in terms of utilities and security so the shared area should always be mentioned in the sla's who should be responsible for what exactly very specifically okay and in platform as a service till grc data security application security all this is cloud consumer responsibility the platform security becomes the shared responsibility of both consumer and the provider okay in software as a service the application security becomes the shared responsibility okay and underlying all this is cloud provider solely the responsibility of cloud provider that is platform security infrastructure and physical security in saas that's it for today thank you so much for watching i will see you in another video with another topic until then take care bye bye